All the Santiago Bernabeu right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid against Girona. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Rodrigo plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And the starting 11 for Girona. Well, it's a fairly standard 4-4-2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. They're both good players. Well, we really ought to give credit to Real Madrid because their defence has been second to none. Best record in the league, Stuart. Well, they've been so solid at the back, whether it's in front of their own fans or away from home. I think it comes down to communication. They're just so well drilled and organised. Hopefully for the neutrals, they do concede the first one today. Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. Must take the lead here. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Vinicius Junior. The ball with Luka Modric. Toni Kroos. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Eric Garcia. Martin. Herrera. Martinez. Well, very effective play in possession. That's a good-looking ball. And there it is! The opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Tony Kors. And Valverde. What can Real do from this position? I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, I certainly won't get tired of watching this because this is a brilliant piece of skill. He imparts so much spin on the ball as well as getting it up and over the wall. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Yangel Herrera. Garcia, Zigankov, a really effective shielding under pressure. 
Valencia. Garcia with it. Arnau Martinez. Ivan Martin. Options in the middle. Very comfortable when in possession. No let up here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And a goal kick given. David Alaba. Federico Valverde. Carvajal. He has time to play it over. And he clears it out of harm's way. Garcia moving the ball more than decently but can they take the lead they could pick out a teammate and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation Terrific free kick, and how well the keeper did to parry it. A chance to nudge in front, corner kick here. They take it short. Well, this could really help the cause. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. He's driven in the corner. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Tony Kors. And a timely intervention. Herrera and teammates around him well they keep working away looking for passing lanes for the lead here superbly read and executed now can they hit them on the counter a really good pass and it might be Here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Martin. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? A wonderful bit of skill. The cross is on. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Behind in the game, but now they have a corner. 
Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Ivan Martin. And the shot. Oh, did so well to deny him. And there's the delivery. Gets his glove on it. And a useful cross. It could be up for grabs. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And they're making a change. Keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Carvajal on the ball Rudiger David Alaba Mendy Modric Mendy did well to win the ball back Martin teammates available trying his luck and that wasn't a million miles away almost the equaliser well it's not a bad effort is it but they've got to find a way back into this one well as you can see from the stats they've absolutely dominated the game they've been good in possession they've created chances but they just haven't been clinical enough in front of goal and that's the big problem if they want to get back into the game they've got to start taking some chances and now they've got to put their minds towards winning the ball back. And quick thinking defensively. Ivan Martin. Yangel Herrera. Now the defenders know they need to get tighter. That's a good... Can he take advantage? Oh, it's an unbelievable save by Courtois! taken short can he get them level well body in the way magnificent challenge to win it back can they hit on the break Valverde course will he finish and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, who would be a manager? Ancelotti thought that would put his side in complete control. This game's not over yet. Well, opting for the short corner. Of course. This could finish it. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Not much time to make up his mind. Yangel Herrera. On to Estuani. Five minutes left. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And played in. He succeeds in clearing it. Yangel Herrera. Cross couldn't keep it. Getting forward. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Vinicius Junior. And there's the full-time whistle. Maximum points for Real Madrid.